You guys ever see a really old guy that looks like a woman? Cue the music. Welcome to UFO Report number 42. This is Manny Moonraker. And before we get to the uh, whole pre-roll information that I put in there, because, you know, I'm sure you're wondering what old guy looks like a old woman. Some of you might already know and already figured it out. We'll talk about that right get to the main topic today. And that has to do with Scotland. Apparently Scotland has a significant amount of UFO sightings every year. According to Malcolm Robinson, a self-proclaimed UFO expert, says that the country is a hot spot for strange happenings over the skies and says, like everyone else does, that the government is covering it up. And Mr. Robinson says that there's about a thousand reported sightings every year. The one thing I like about this guy Malcolm Robinson slash UFO expert is that he actually has the nads to pretty much come across as a non-rubber dicker because he actually says that 98% of the sightings can be explained by natural occurrences. It kind of it kind of makes him shut off that, that rubber dicker appearance because he is a UFO expert. He says he is extremely sure, he is very positive that the government in the UK is well versed in what's happening over the skies of Scotland, but they will not and will probably never disclose what they know. The one thing about uh, Malcolm is that he's not your usual rubber dicker who just showed up on the scene. He actually has been doing this for quite some time. And apparently, back in the 90s, he actually joined the counselor from Bonnie Bridge, Billy Buchanan, in trying to obtain information from the British government. Together, they actually tried several times to retrieve information by contacting the Prime Minister's office trying to get information. Of course, there was never a response. Not a surprise there. But the truth is, you know, this guy, he is putting some effort together. He's getting out there. He's researching. And we've heard before from a previous episode how freaking crazy it is over at Bonnie Bridge. So if you're sitting around, you know, Bonnie Bridge or you're in Scotland somewhere, or you're somewhere in the UK where there's a lot of sightings, let us know. Send us an email. Send us a tweet. Post it on Facebook. I'll give you that in just a second. But I did identify him as a partial rubber dicker, and there's a reason for that. The reason this article right now is being published is because he is taking all the information he's put together the so-called thousand plus a year. And uh, apparently he had a book, The UFO Case Files of Scotland, is being reprinted again next month. So he might just have good information in there, but of course the underlying motivation for this article is the fact that he's trying to get some sales for his book. So uh, let me be the first one to say that... uh, Malcolm, you have an open invitation to UFO Buster Radio and share some of these sightings that you have that you feel are credible sightings. And according to Malcolm, out of the thousand or so sightings that happen over the skies of Scotland, 10 to 20 can be described as accurate. In other words, 
what he's saying is in this article is that basically what the people are reporting really is what it is, whether it be a saucer, triangular TR3B, uh, orbs, whatever it is. He says that some of these are real, factual, and cannot be disproved in any way. We've heard this time and time again. Across every country on this planet, that seems to be the prevailing percentage of UFO sightings that cannot be explained by either man-made objects or natural phenomena. And it really hovers around 2-3%. to So if you got any information, you want to share it. If you happen to be Malcolm and you want to call in, let us know. You can email the show at manny at ufobusterradio.com. You can tweet us at ufobusterradio. You can find us on the Facebook pages, Manny Moonraker and UFO Buster Radio. And last but not least, you also have our newly created UBR Truth Seekers group on Facebook, which yeah, pretty much remains pretty active. There isn't, it hasn't been a day where something has not been posted on there. And we invite everyone listening to come in, post your stuff. It doesn't have to be all serious. It's not a life or death situation. It's about basically engaging in a thought process where you don't let the rubber dickers just take over this topic of conversation. And just to give you guys a heads up, the major rubber dickers on YouTube are definitely, you know, getting the work out there and trying to show us all kinds of stuff. We had the eclipse on Monday, and uh, if you're not aware of it yet, Third Phase of Moon and Security Team 10 are ramping up their videos regarding these sightings before and after the eclipse. So if you're into that and you need a good mental probing, check them out on YouTube. I saw clips of a couple of them and it's it's just the usual nonsense, but now we have an eclipse twist to it. So if you want some rubber dicking, jump on it. Coming to you from the, from the hills of Texas right here, UFO Buster Radio is now on the air. You can visit the Manny and the Big O at UFOBusterRadio.com. That's right, this is Bubba Doohickey saying, boys, squeal like a pig. Oink, oink, oink. All right, so the next issue that I have for you is uh, not necessarily a big news report, a big article, a big incident. However, you know that we've been talking about Stephen Greer's unacknowledged book and movie. Over the last few months, I personally, I saw the film. Uh, we have uh, Billy, who has been reviewing the book on here on the podcast uh, because he won the co-host contest. Now, Billy also saw the film. Now, when I was talking about the, an old man that looks like an old woman, you who are subscribed to Netflix as of yesterday, the unacknowledged film is available on Netflix. So if you haven't seen it yet, if you didn't shell out the original, what, I don't know, some people were paying like $14 or something like that for the film, and you have a subscription to Netflix, there you go. First we got the main rubber dicker, Stan Romanek, and now we got his partner in crime, Stephen Greer, showing up on Netflix. So it looks like Netflix is starting to cash into this UFO phenomena because they've got some serious rubber dickers on here. And it's all for you. Subscribe and check it out. As a matter of fact, for those of you who don't have it, you can do the, what is it, one month free trial. Check out the uh, the rubber dicking main event on the unacknowledged film. Watch him cry. And uh, get back to us. Let me know what you think about the film. You've heard what uh, Billy thinks about it. Uh, people here and there have been commenting about the uh, the film itself, so... Why not get your two cents in and let us know? As a matter of fact, why not drop it in UBR Truth Seekers? Because we have the anti-rubber dicking protocol on there right now. So you'll be safe. So the last thing I want to bring up is that I have been searching high and low for any updates on the Gaia situation and those uh, mummies from Peru. 
There has been zero, nada, niet, not a damn thing coming out out of the internet or Gaia relating to those mummies in Nazca, Peru. It appears that this story has uh, pretty much gone dark. Again, to me, if Gaia has figured out that these mummies are 4.2 far fake, then they should have done the right thing and come out and denounced the whole situation. They might still be trying to work on this. There might be legal issues on the horizon, being that the mummies were removed from Peru. I don't know what's going on behind the scenes. But one thing is clear. It doesn't seem that they're backing the idea anymore that these were real mummies and that they were from 4.2 far. That's what I got for you today. So thank you guys for listening. And again, if you're in the UK or Scotland and you've seen some UFOs, send them over this way so the rest of the world can share in your madness. Peace.